Welcome back to Briggs on Books, our international talk show where we talk to authors from all over the world. Our next author coming up is uh, Roxanne Bland. Welcome, Roxanne. Where are you located? I'm in Baltimore, Maryland. Thanks. Wow. It's the opposite end of the world, uh, the country for us. We're here in California. Uh, we asked you on the show, oh, we have producers who look for interesting guests. People say, how do people get on that show? Well, my producers look for interesting guests and interesting people, and they found you. And here's your book, by the way, The Underground. Tell us a little bit about the book. Well, it is mixed genre speculative fiction, and what mixed genre means is that I take science fiction, fantasy, horror, and their subgenres, and I mix them together into a single book. Um, it breaks a lot of rules because I'm really into rule breaking. And this particular book is has four main characters, a mage, a vampire, a werewolf, and a space alien. And the space alien and the werewolf fall for each other. And so, yeah, I like to put a little romance, maybe some erotica, you know, make spice wow. it up a bit. <laughs> and, um, but what the book is really, I mean, you know, that's the fun stuff. But what the book is really about, it's a piece of social political criticism. Mm. So think of every marginalized group you've heard of. And imagine what their lives must be like when they're being persecuted by the majority. Mm. Well, that's what the paranormals are. And they're being persecuted, of course, by the humans. And then we have, of course, you know, what happens when the persecuted rise up. Mm -hmm. You know, history tells us the answer. It's not pretty. So we have all of this mix, you know, in, in the book. And, you know, people have found it, readers, I should say, have found it strange. And, yes, it's a strange book. Um, I think my favorite review was... Um, this is the weirdest book I've ever read. <laughs> that, you know, I, that is a compliment to me. Yeah. Because I'm weird, right? Yeah. So that was just such a compliment because it's a book that makes people sit up and take notice. Like, wow, this is different. Um, I've never read anything like this before. And, you know, the reason why my books, all of my books are like that is because you know, many, 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 many years ago, I got bored with the mainstream. Because, I mean, it's formulaic and that's fine. I mean, yeah. that's, that's one way to sell books. In fact, that's the surefire way to sell books. But I got a little bored with it. And I thought, you know, I want something different. I want something to, to, to make my mind rock. <laughs> and so I came up with a cast of characters for the underground and that's also and it's also a series the underground is actually the first book in a series a four book series i'm working on the third book called liberation which is a which is a well, i won't say thinly disguised it's a little bit more disguised than that but the transatlantic slave trade ah. and um so I love doing stuff like this. I love I love writing books that people, you know, I, I guess, let me put it this way. Writing books that entertain immensely. Mm -hmm. Because that's my primary job as an author, yep. is to entertain. If people under uh, get the underlying message, and some do, some do, then that's gravy. And those are the kinds of books I like to write. Now you, uh, your biography says you've been a, what, what, what does it say, a fugitive from reality? Yes, yes, I've been a fugitive from reality all of my life. Um, when I was a child, my favorite thing to do, besides reading, was to sit in my bedroom or anywhere actually on the bus uh -huh. <laughs> and make up stories in my head. Wow. And um, and I just or one I actually. Let me tell you, my favorite, favorite activity when I was like 10. I grew up in Washington, D.C. Uh -huh. 
And after school, I would take the bus downtown to the Smithsonian Institution. Mm. Now, I don't know if your listeners or, or you know this, but the Smithsonian is not one building. Right. It's like, I don't know, it keeps growing. It keeps growing. Right. <laughs> but I think it's like 10 at this yeah. point. And I would go to, say, like the Museum of Natural History, mm -hmm. and I'd walk through the exhibits, and I would make up stories Wow! as I walked along. Um, I'd see something in particular that caught my eye, and I'd stand there for quite a while, uh -huh. running through the scenario in my head. So, yeah, I'm a fugitive from reality. <laughs> Well, you're certainly the you most. You know, I think um, I think reality is highly overrated, um, especially when you become, especially when you grow up and become an adult. Yeah, you're certainly the most unique writer. I mean, tell me the characters again in the book. A werewolf. Well, there's well, there's Parker Berenson. Uh -huh. He is an alpha werewolf. Alpha. Okay. Of the wolf pack in Seattle. Then there is Garrett Larkin. She is a mage with the Balthus co Coven, the, the witches. Mm -hmm. Then there's Kurt Masters, who is the king of the paranormals, not because vampires are usually on top. It's just that he finagled it that way. He helped, he helped to found the city and blah, 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 blah. So, yeah, he kind of rules everybody. And then there is Melora, um, well, Shenze Melora. She is from a distant galaxy, Maku, where there's a civil war raging. And she has come to Earth to try, she's working on it, to crack the musical code her father left mm. that would reveal the location of the battle fleet he hid at the edge of this solar system. Okay. And her job would be to crack the code, herd the fleet back to her home, her home galaxy, and so on. Now. She's had a rough time. Um, she was captured by her arch nemesis, tortured, all that kind of stuff. And all that has happened before she came to Earth. So she's kind of <laughs> messed up. <laughs> okay. Now, uh, and, um, and it's about healing, you know, healing from past traumas and yeah. things like that. That's, that's, that's a thread yeah. that runs through the book. Now you have, uh, uh, this is the first book. Is the second book out yet? Oh, yes. The second book is called Invasion. Okay. And it continues the story where the underground left off. Okay. Nice. And, um, and, well, I'm not, no spoilers, no spoilers, but there, there is a huge issue that's a life-threatening issue that's left over from the underground, which they have to, which our characters have to resolve in Invasion. And the third book, which I'm working on now, is Liberation, which is where our heroes have blasted off from Earth to explore the galaxy. Mm. So this has got a more, whereas the first two books, I guess you could say their basis is really in urban fantasy or paranormal mm -hmm. urban fantasy. Paranormal Liberation urban fantasy. Liberation is I... more science fiction. Yeah. Because they're out in space, they meet aliens, you know, mm -hmm. that kind of thing. Now, we're about to run out of time, but I wanted to ask you, um, what would our guests find if they went to RoxanneBland.rocks? They would find my website, <laughs> and they would find, um, which is a place where I let my weirdness show, show through. Nice. My blog, nice. the whole nine yards. Okay. Oh, it's so much fun. No holding back. No holding back. Right. By the way, also on the screen we have your Instagram. I urge people go friend, go out on Instagram, find Roxanne Bland dot rocks, order her books. Uh, it sounds like a lot of fun. What a great, refreshing. Uh, it sounds like a very re refreshing approach to uh, writing, and it'll be refreshing approach to reading too when I get a hold of the book. Yes, available everywhere. everywhere. Amazon, everywhere. Um, Roxanne, we're past time. I can't stop talking to you. You're too, too fascinating. Any last thoughts for our viewers? Yes, buy my book. No, really. <laughs> I, I, my last thought for your readers is I hope you will go out and explore different genres, mm -hmm. different something you don't normally read, yeah. and find out what's
what's actually going on out there? The Great. wider you read, I think the more fun you'll have. Yeah, and this book sounds fun. And I like to say sometimes on this show, uh, for our viewers, don't go click once and order a book. Order five of these things. Give them out to your friends. Let's get everybody reading together the same thing at the same time. Roxanne Bland, thank you so much. I want to have you back again and again. I could talk to you all day. They only give us a few minutes here, though. Well, thank you. I'm very good at talking all day. Okay, thank you. And for our viewers, don't go anywhere. We'll be back with more authors right after this.